Hi guys, I have a story to tell you about a lesson that my beautiful Doberman, Red Doberman Kona taught me years ago about fear. She was about a year old back then and we had installed a hidden fence, which I learned about at that time. The way it's done is that they lay something underground, which when the dog is wearing a collar, the, the, the collar buzzes and there are verbal signals to teach the dog that um, this means don't cross this, um, this threshold. And um, I believe you used to say like white flag because there were flags also, we, would, we trained them with the flag and the buzz is not an electric shock, it's just like a buzz, but it's taught to them that way. And um, so, so I have, um, I'm getting mail and I see Kona rushing across the yard and she's on a chase. She's chasing the squirrel. The squirrel runs across our yard and it goes into the next people's yard. And so she's already crossed the threshold. And Coco's, you could see her muscles. She's so strong and she's run so elegantly and she's running after her, but she stops right at that track where the, where the um, yard separate. And the um, a squirrel runs a, for a little bit. Then she realizes, wait, this, this dog isn't running after me. And she turns around. I'm looking at this girl. And she turns around and she just she just picks something up from the gown and she's like eating it. And she's watching Coco. She turns around, she's watching Coco bark at her because she's upset that she can't go. And um, almost like watching, eating popcorn and watching something. And um, I think to myself, wow, here's this dog that is so powerful she can outrun and outpower all of us and um she's not able to do this she isn't able to live up to her potential she isn't able to live up to what her power potential is is what her ability is because of fear and i realized that how many hidden fences we all have these hidden fences that don't allow us to live up to our ability that don't allow us to live um to our potential, to our intelligence. And um, uh, what the invitation here is to become conscious of these hidden fences that all of us have. And to one, just by becoming conscious, we can start to remove them one by one. We can start to um, drop them. This is, a, this is the work of not addition, but subtracting out of our lives. Um, anything that doesn't serve us anymore. So what are your hidden fences? And where can you drop them? I'm always trying to look out for mine. And now that you've seen Coco, here's my, my son's dog, actually, Maui. And mine too, she is a palm ski. And let me see if I can get Kona. Kona! And I will show you Kona as well, so you can meet all three. Kona, come here, baby. And here she is, here's Kona. There's her beautiful, beautiful Kona. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care and goodbye.